you know your Android has hidden powers you probably haven't unlocked yet and in this video I'll show you some secret settings and tricks that can boost performance, enhance privacy and make your phone smarter in 2025. Excited? So let's get started. Have you ever lent your phone to a friend but worried they will stumble onto something personal? Do you know you can fix that with this amazing setting known as private space? Think of it like a hidden compartment inside your phone. You can stash apps, photos or files there and they will vanish from your home screen, notification and even from your main Google account. Also if you need a separate account for this secret zone, devices with Android 15 and above lets you create one. So nothing mix up with your regular stuff. And here is how it works. First set up a screen lock which is required. Then go to setting then privacy and security and tap private space. Now follow the prompt to create a unique pin. Once done, a tiny lock screen icon appear at the bottom of the app drawer. Tap it and enter your pin and boom, your private apps and data appears. To hide it completely, simply turn on hide private space in the setting. It will only show up if you search for it by name. Have you ever tried juggling two apps at once on your phone, like keeping notes open while replying to emails? Android's split screen mode has been a lifesaver for years. Take notes iPhone users. But here's the catch. You had to set it up every single time, even for your go-to apps combo. But Android finally fixes that with app pairs, a game changer for multitasker. And here is how it works. Simply open two apps and split screen like usual. Now swipe up to your recent app menu, press and hold the two app icon at the top and you will see a new save app pair button. Tap it and boom, a shortcut pop up on your home screen. Tap the shortcut later and both app launches instantly in split screen mode. No more tedious steps. Now whether you are pairing Slack with Google Docs, YouTube with Twitter or anything else, it's all about saving time and taps. Finally multitasking feels as smooth as it should have been all along. Have you ever started a screen recording on your Android phone and realized later you accidentally showed a text or notification you didn't mean to? Super annoying, right? But you can now fix this with a neat trick. You can now record just one app instead of the whole screen. Even if you hop over to check another app mid-recording, only the one you selected gets captured. Here is how to do that. Simply pull down quick setting, tap screen record, then choose record one app. Pick the app you want and boom. It will stay logged on the app, no awkward info leaks. Are you running low on the storage but don't want to delete apps? Android Apps Archiving feature is a perfect solution. It lets you free up space without losing app data, so you can bring app back instantly, no need to set them up again. Unlike Play Store's Auto Archive which removes app at random, this feature gives you control. Just go to an app info page, tap archive and it shrinks into a lightweight version while keeping your data intact. Need it again, just tap to restore and it's back. No hassle, no relogin. This is super useful in daily life. Say you just need extra space to download a big video or update an app. Just archive the ones you don't use often instead of uninstalling them. It's a great option for keeping seasonal apps like text filing tools or traveling planners without wasting storage year around. Think of it as digital storage on demand. Your app stays within reach but your phone stays clutter free. Now if you are planning to keep your phone for a longer period of time, there is a good news for Android 15 users because it introduces a new 80% charging limit to help extend battery lifespan. Now you might know battery degrades over time and constantly charging it to 100% speeds up the process. While adaptive charging slows down charging after 80%, this new feature stops charging completely at 80%, reducing wear and keeping your battery healthier in the long run. To enable it, simply go to setting, then battery, then charging control. Toggle on use charging optimization, then select limit to 80%. This is especially useful if you keep your phone plugged for longer period of time, like while gaming, working at desk, or overnight charging. If you don't always need a full charge to get through the day, this small tweak can make a big difference in preserving battery life over the year. Now if you are worried about phone theft, Android is stepping up security with new anti-theft features designed to keep your device safe even if it gets stolen. Now one of the biggest addition is the theft detection lock. Using AI your phone can now detect sudden motion like if someone snatches it and run, then instantly lock the screen. It will auto lock if it's offline for too long or if there are too many failed unlock attempts. 
So make sure to enable these two settings from the security and privacy tab. You will also have an easier way to lock your phone remotely. And here's the best part, with Android 15 and above, thieves won't be able to reset your device without your Google account credentials. So even if they try to wipe it, they are locked out. These features work using phone's sensor, Wi-Fi and smart device connection to detect suspicious activity. Plus, you can still use Find My Phone to locate, lock and erase your phone if needed. While no security is fail-proof, these updates make it much harder for thieves to access your data. If you haven't already, it's a good idea to enable these protections. They could save you a lot of trouble. Have you ever been stuck at checkout because your phone default to Google Wallet when you really need to use your bank's app? Android 15 fixes that because there is a simple trick where you can now set any payment app as your default to tap to pay. Now you might be thinking why does this matter? Let's say you are traveling and Google Wallet isn't accepted locally. Just set up your preferred regional app once and it will automatically pop up every time you tap to pay. No more fumbling through menus while holding up in the line or maybe your bank app Apps gives better rewards, make that your go-to for coffee run and transit fares. So guys, these are some of the secret Android settings that you should definitely give a try. If you think we have missed any other setting, do let us know that in the comments down below. And for more future videos like this, do consider subscribing and hit that bell icon so that you never miss any future videos from Extreme Droid.